If you notice your engine is hard to start, idles rough is down on power, or has other issues, pay close attention because a bad regulator could be the culprit. In this video, I'll walk through the mechanics of how they work, 12 common failure symptoms, diagnostic tests, and repair costs. Let's dive in. Before moving forward, if you're seeking a comprehensive understanding of the failure mechanisms of a fuel pressure regulator and tips for identifying related problems, I highly recommend delving into a detailed article I pinned on this subject. You can find the link provided in the description below. Now, let's discuss the symptoms of a bad fuel pressure regulator first. Fuel pressure regulators maintain the optimal fuel pressure required for smooth engine operation. They have a spring-loaded diaphragm that reacts to intake vacuum. At idle, the diaphragm lifts, allowing excess fuel back into the tank. Under acceleration, vacuum drops, and the diaphragm closes to increase pressure. This balances fuel flow. Here are the most common signs of a failing regulator. Number one, your check engine light comes on. A bad fuel pressure regulator can cause the check engine light to illuminate and trigger codes related to fuel mixture issues, like P0171 and P0172. These codes indicate the engine is running too lean or too rich. Number two, decreased fuel mileage. When the regulator is stuck open, it can cause an increased fuel influx into the engine rather than maintaining fuel rail pressure resulting in excessive gasoline consumption. This wastes as fuel and reduces MPG. Number three, black smoke from the tailpipe. Black smoke usually indicates an overly rich fuel mixture that's not burning completely. The extra fuel gets partially burned and exits as smoke. Number four, the engine sputters or loses power when accelerating. Without stable rail pressure, the injectors can't deliver the right fuel volume when you accelerate. This causes hesitation and power loss. Number five, rough idling or missing at idle. The erratic fuel pressure from a bad regulator causes inconsistent fuel delivery that leads to engine misfires. This causes rough idle or missing. Number six, hard starting or cranking longer than normal to start. Due to low fuel pressure, the engine won't start properly and will require longer cranking. Number seven, fouled spark plugs. When a fuel pressure regulator malfunctions, it can send too much fuel into the engine. This overfueling can dirty or foul the spark plugs, causing the engine to run poorly. Number eight, fuel leaks. If the regulator's O-rings are damaged, it can leak fuel externally. O-rings maintain pressure inside. Number nine, missing speed when trying to accelerate. A faulty fuel pressure regulator can result in an insufficient fuel supply during acceleration causing a lack of power and a sensation of missing speed. This is because during acceleration the engine needs more fuel and an incorrect fuel pressure can't satisfy this demand. Number 10, a strong fuel smell from the engine bay from leaks. Number 11 other codes related to oxygen sensors or catalyst deficiency as the rich lean conditions damage them. Number 12, finding fuel in the vacuum hose points to a diaphragm rupture. The vacuum line shouldn't have fuel in it normally. Next, I'll cover some ways to test it. The best diagnostic is to attach a fuel pressure gauge and monitor the readings. Most kits adapt to the Schrader valve on the fuel rail. Start by priming the pump and noting the pressure with the engine off. Then monitor the readings with the engine idling and under acceleration. You can also remove the vacuum line to see if the pressure changes. If it doesn't, that's a red flag. Applying a vacuum with a hand pump is another possible test. Moreover, when you diagnose a rough idle or acceleration issues, also check components like the fuel filter, pump, injectors, and intake air path for restrictions. The problem may not be the regulator itself. If you do end up needing a replacement, plan on a repair cost of $100 to $500. In most cases, the parts are affordable, but labor can bump up the total. That covers the major signs of a bad fuel pressure regulator and how to test it. Let me know if you have any other good tips or questions in the comments. And please hit thumbs up to support the channel. If you need more details, I'll put a link to my full blog post in the description. Thanks for watching.